Over March break, these kids spent their week here at the sewing cafe in Georgetown, learning how to sew. Operating for almost nine years now, co-owner Linda Pidzemecki says she has seen a comeback in this classic skill set, especially with our youth. So kids, of course, are influenced by stuff they see on TV and all of that. So I think a few years ago there were fashion shows and things on TV and sewing competitions. So that's really attracted them. Plus it also skips a generation, so more than likely their grandparents sewed. So whether they sewed for a living or just did it as a hobby, so now they're interested in sewing. So it's something we see as always being here, but it is definitely coming back as a resurgence. So we are getting busier and busier every day with people who want to learn how to sew. Both March break and summer camps fill up sometimes months in advance, with most kids coming in having never sewn before. Pidzemecki says it's great for them to be able to get back to basics. Because of we've been shut down with the pandemic and everything, people have gone back to doing more things at home, which includes sewing and knitting and crocheting and making puzzles and things like that. So sewing is a thing that can be passed down to generations. Maybe they've been spending time with their grandparents because they've been locked down. So their grandparents have sewed, their quilters, their sewers, their crafters. So it's such a great thing for kids to make stuff with their hands. Like you'll see the joy in their, in their eyes when they show you what they've made. These kids certainly seem like they're having a good time, so much so I had to ask them what it is about sewing they like so much. Uh, for Christmas, I got a sewing machine and everything, and yeah, I just really wanted to sew. <laughs> um, when I was like a bit uh, smaller, I used to go into this cabinet and try and like sew with needles, and I thought it'd be fun to actually make something, so that's why I came here. Well, when I grow up, I want to be a fashion designer, and I I want to I want to like make the clothes and then kind of like tell people what's best to wear and stuff. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, and same with me. I like since I was little, I had a dream to like be a fashion designer. Uh, I made I like drew some dresses like in my notebook and stuff and then like when I'm good at sewing I can like make one. Is this your first time at this camp? No. Uh, no. We've been here once. Once before. And the theme was polar bears so we made st stuffy polar bears. So you liked it so much you decided to come back? Yeah. Cool. And at the end of this what is are you gonna keep coming back? What's your Yes for yeah. the, um maybe for a summer camp or something? I really like it. Yeah. And for Pidzemecki, she says she prides herself on being able to pass on her knowledge to the next generation. I, you know, love my machines. I love showing people how to use their machines. And they can make anything. Once your sewing machine works, you can make anything. <laughs> Registration for summer camp will open at the end of March. For more details, you can go to the Sewing Cafe's website at sewingcafe.ca. For Halton News in Georgetown. I'm Melissa Candelaria.